Hey everyone, it's Book of Catherine. I know I said this on another video, but I don't know if I've posted it yet or not, but I've been getting a lot of requests for speakers that I recommend. And so I finally realized that I should just do a video on who I'd recommend for speakers. So I know that there are a few speakers that are just so overbooked and that so a lot of people are looking for some new speakers and I've been getting a lot of requests. So these are the speakers that I would recommend and I've already recommended them to some people and it's ended up being huge successes. Um, so I'm just, here are my recommendations and you can go with it um, and see if you enjoy them, but they will be huge. So um, the speakers that I recommend are Ani Cyrus. Um, these are, uh, there's just a huge range, but Ani Cyrus, uh, who speaks on is Islam. She's incredible. Actually, for Islam would be Ani Cyrus, Brigitte Gabrielle, um, and Pamela Geller. Incredible speakers, all three of them incredibly educated and incredibly educated on Islam in different ways. Uh, they're like three different sides of Islam, just incredible speakers. In all three of them, so phenomenal. Um, and then uh, Chris Chappell and his entire team at China Uncensored. There are also videos of uh, him speaking. And so if you can't get him, I think the other two people on his team are also very well spoken. And if you've watched their Q&As, they, both of them would be there. They've also gone on the trips um, to China as well. All three of them extremely, extremely uh, educated and would be excellent speakers from China Uncensored. Um then there's Cheryl Atkinson, uh, Atkis, Atkinson, who wrote the book Smear. I think she is absolutely phenomenal and uh, mind-blowing. In fact, I think that she has information. I don't know who else gives the information that she does. And I think especially for young people anyway, to actually for anyone, anyone who is operating in the digital age today has to know her information in fact, all of these speakers, everyone needs to know this information. No one else is sharing their information. No one else has their information. No one else is sharing it. No one else has it. And what's interesting is that when you hear Q&A sessions today, people are asking questions that have to do with these things. And people are giving answers that have surfaced, but not that go further. Like they say, oh, uh, this is the problem, and but the, these people have who's funding that and goes below that and it goes all layers deeper into, for example, um, I found out today that um, a friend of mine, she was explaining to me what was happening in uh, her son's fourth grade. She was explaining what happened to her son in fourth grade. And uh, she had a principal and she was going through what this principal had done to the school. Well, I happen to know that that meant it was a charter school. And I happen to know that that meant the Chinese Communist Party was funding the school. I knew that because of the information that I've been watching on China and censored from Chris Chappell. And I knew the Chinese Communist Party so well. And I could actually tell her like what the name was of the institution that was funding it here in America. Right. Like I actually know, like I believe it's the CSSA. Right. Like I can actually I'm pretty sure that's it. So you can actually the, these are things like layers and layers that we need to know um, that aren't being talked about that go behind the scenes like the that go behind the scenes of things that affect our everyday lives. Um, and that are really, really important to us that uh, that kids and uh, parents and Everyone just needs to know as they go out into the daily world to explain the world around them. And sure, Atkinson can explain things. I mean, all, all of them, all of these people across all spectrums. And let me see if I forgot anyone else. Just let me make sure. Actually, I would say um, the thing is, is that I think you know about them is Kim Strassel and Victor Davis Hansen. And they're already speakers, but they're not being used as wide ranging as they could be. Um, they, they are extremely entertaining. They know a lot. And I don't know if that's because they're just too packed or what it is, but they're highly entertaining and kids are interested in that stuff. If you're looking for young kids and everything like that, they can handle that kind of information. Um, they, kids are extremely, you know, they're extremely adult today. They are looking for that kind of information and they are, I mean, they can handle it. They actually are craving it. And Hansen's actually pretty hysterical. He's actually, he's extremely entertaining and, and hysterical. And so is Kim Strassel. And I, 
they're just like Cheryl Ad Atkinson. Um, they're out there on the speaking circuit anyway. So I know they're on the speaking circuits, but they're not being used as widely as all these guys are on the speaking circuit, but they're not being used as widely as they could be. So, but those are the people that I would recommend. Um, if I think of anyone else, I will leave them in the description box below. Um, but those are the people that are absolutely phenomenal speakers that I've been recommending and have been getting like super big results um, that have the best research instead of like listening to a talk and I go, wow, well, actually that's out of date or that's out of date. You know what? The other one um, there actually is, is Dr. Judy Wood. Like, why is she only being invited to speak outside of the U.S.? Like, Dr. Judy Wood. Like, if you're really, you know, about free speech and if you're really educated, Dr. Judy Wood is... I... I don't know if there's... There's few speakers who I've watched more... I don't know how she makes metal that bends interesting. I don't know how she does that. I've never been interested in physics or whatever, and she can make it. She can just make it. I just sit there, and I can't, I've can't. i learned so much through her. And she's probably the best scientist I know, the most ethical, the most ethical She's just such a good guy. You know, she's one of the good guys. And she would have received the Nobel Prize by now if we lived in any kind of a society that had the American values that we had back before the war. You know, World War II, if we were that society before the Nuremberg trials released the IG Farben people. You know, and we fell if we still valued good in any way, shape, or form and didn't celebrate the criminals of our society. She would just be this Nobel laureate. She is un unbelievable. So, yeah, Dr. Judy Wood. And in my... uh in my series on 9-11, she's at the bottom. I give my research, she's at the bottom. And um, I share my favorite ones of her, but there's so many. I can't believe how many I've watched. I can't believe how many I've watched of hers. And it's some of the older stuff that I like when she first started coming out. The ones that she's done more recently, if you watch more recent ones, there are things that she has assumed that you've watched her older ones. So I recommend that you watch the older ones. Um... But if you don't know that stuff, you don't know anything. You just, you don't know anything. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. You you don't know anything. And and you will be trapped in fear. And you will be malleable and pliable in the hands of those who You'll just never be free. And she is a requirement to be free. So those are my recommendations. She's just so brilliant. All of them are brilliant. And all of them I've watched just so much of. We're so lucky to have them. I feel so lucky to have found all of them. I just, you can watch them for hours. I hope that helps. Love you guys. Bye. I hope you like my jacket. Vintage jacket a long time ago. And I bought it because it was so beautiful and I couldn't fit into it. I bought it just because it was beautiful. First thing I bought with my husband. I didn't know he was going to be my husband. But he talked me into buying it because I loved it so much. I should have known that I'd end up marrying him. And then I ended up losing enough weight to fit into it. So I wore it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Bye.